Health news now, there is hope tonight for people losing their vision to macular degeneration. It's an experimental contact lens with a kind of telescope built in. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez has these amazing details. That's right, Christina Maurice, as many as 11 million Americans suffer from some form of macular degeneration, and that number is expected to double as the population ages. It's the leading cause of vision loss in people over 60. There's no cure, but vision aids can magnify an image. Now there's a magnifier that might be put into a high-tech contact lens. Anthony Pappas has had macular degeneration for 10 years. He says he can still read slowly and only with a powerful magnifying glass, but other things are more difficult. I can see your face clearly when you're that close. It, even if it's my wife, she has to be fairly close, 20 feet away anyway, to be sure it's her. Macular degeneration affects the center of the visual field, distorting images and eventually darkening the center entirely. But there are ways to compensate at least a little for the vision loss. So once the central vision is lost, the best way that a patient's going to see is to magnify things. So by magnifying the image, we're using areas of the retina just off to the side of the central area of vision. Visual aids like implantable telescopes have been tried with limited success, but now Swiss scientists are working on a contact lens with a series of tiny mirrors in it that magnify an image for macular degeneration sufferers. And because sometimes you need peripheral vision, they're also developing glasses that can switch the contact lens from magnifying to normal mode. I would be willing to try anything that uh, will maintain my ability to see or improve it. But retina experts caution that there are many any obstacles to overcome before such a lens is viable for patients. If the lens is thicker, the eye may not get enough oxygen. If the eye is not getting enough oxygen, it's possible that the patient will have discomfort when wearing it. In addition, the patient's an elderly patient, so we have a 70, 75, 80 year old patient, and it may be difficult for them to put a contact lens in their eye from a dexterity standpoint. Now, this lens is still in development and highly experimental, but it shows how microelectronics and advanced manufacturing techniques are giving hope to millions of visually impaired elderly. Christine? All right, Dr. Max, thank you.